Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine Miller. If you're new, hi, nice to meet you. And if you're an oldie, welcome back, my friend. So, today's video is going to be a bit different. This is basically going to be a chilled video, um, a Q&A video, because I've got a lot of requests to do that. And I feel like that's just the right thing to do so that you guys can get to know me. I saved a bunch of questions. Obviously, I did ask you guys on my Instagram page to ask me a bit of questions that you want to know. Yeah, I've got a bunch of questions over here, as you guys can see. I kept them on my note. I do have some on my um, album pictures. I'm just going to mix it and see. I hope, hopefully, this is not too long because I feel like sometimes just having like a Q&A questions is kind of fun and it can get a bit longer. So yeah, go and grab some snacks, some drinks, sit down, chill be comfortable and let's get into the video I have my drink right here and let's get into the video the first question I feel like that's like the most asked question is basically where do I live and if I moved currently I live in Manchester UK it's not really Manchester I live in Salford UK but obviously it's quite close to Manchester I, I don't really get the point because some people say it's Manchester some people say it's not exactly but yeah basically in Salford Manchester for those who may not know and for those who would know um, I actually was born and I lived in Israel and I moved in here to study I study fashion right now fashion business let's let's get it clear and I didn't see a future day in life there and I decided that I always knew I wanted to learn abroad either Italy France or the UK I already know English so it would be easier for me to move to the UK what is your full name <laughs> I feel like all my African babes, especially Ghanaians, when you obviously enter my profile, you'd be like, Josephine Miller. Yeah, I know that's my full name. My full name is Josephine Abna Aninde. Yeah. Um, a short story why I changed kind of like my name. My Hebrew name is Josephine, and I like that more than Josephine. I don't really get called Josephine a lot. I get called the Joe or Josephine, so I really love that Josephine part. And Aninde, why did I change to Aninde? I feel like when you are obviously in a white country and you are in class you always have teachers mispronounce your name it's so sad to say right now but i was so embarrassed by my family name you know about my african name and no one could spell it so i just decided one day to change my name into um miller people started taking it seriously people really started calling me miller i was like you know what? i'm just gonna go on with that so that's why my name on instagram is josephine miller but my full name is josephine abna yeah, you have it. Ooh, I I love this question. What would be your ideal first date? Oh, that's that's wow, that's a good question, you know. Um I don't really fancy going to a restaurant for a uh, first date because I feel like on a first date I really want to get to know you and I feel like in a restaurant there's like so many so much distracting stuff you know the noise the music the people um the food and stuff I feel like I wouldn't really get to know you and I feel like going to a restaurant kind of like puts pressure too much into a first date I am really chilled and simple girl so like even taking a takeaway and just chilling somewhere or being in the car and the next guy I'm dating has to have a car been there done that not again uh, but yeah I thought like my deal first date would basically just take a takeaway sit somewhere chilled no pressure um, and just get to know each other and you know just focus on each other listen to each other I don't have to be glammed up put on makeup I really I hate that pressure I think maybe that's good for a second date to go in a restaurant date. um how old are you? So I just turned 23. I'm at my Jordan year. That's sad. What do you do? So I am currently a student right now. I do not work because I didn't know that to look for work in Manchester is this hard. And obviously I just do content creating on the side. But yeah, so are you in a relationship? I got asked this question quite a lot i'm not in a relationship actually i don't know why i'm thinking like i'm in a relationship i'm not in a relationship i am single um i think i'm like i really fell in love with my single era you know i don't mind i really don't care i feel like if i have like if i get into a relationship basically that would be a bonus it's not like a, a miss part if you get me really fell in love with this focusing on me and single era and i feel like once you fall in love with single life it's really hard to get into a relationship so you are in uni what do you learn um i didn't think they write it correct but i think they're just asking what do i study in uni um so for those who don't 
know or may know I did say in the beginning but I am a fashion business and promotion student so that's what I do I always love this business side you know I feel like my mom is a really business woman she has like two shops so I am really inspired by her and I really know that I want to have my own business and stuff and I just want to be into the business side of fashion and the marketing side and the promotion side of fashion so and where was I next question what is your favorite thing to do and your hobbies um i think that's the same question but i really love working out i am a gym girl for sure for sure for sure when i'm at the gym i'm just basically at my own world i'm at peace i'm like i feel like i can just run away from the world and focus on myself and just enjoy myself you know putting on my headphones listening to music and just killing myself basically um yeah so that would be my favorite thing to do for those who may not know i used to dance and I can confidently say I was quite good at that, but um, I stopped dancing, let's say maybe three years ago, three, four years ago, I'm not really sure, um, because I wasn't confident enough at dancing before, you know, um, I didn't believe in myself enough for that, so that's a big thing. But I just want to tell you guys that no matter what you're doing right now, if you do not believe in yourself, you not make it because it doesn't i just realized like yes people so, some other people believe in you can boost you up but that's not the only thing you need you really do need to believe in yourself and i feel like that's why i neglected that i didn't believe in myself enough i wasn't confident in dancing and that's why i love fashion so much is because like yes maybe i wasn't always that into fashion but i always loved looking good i always loved that and um, dressing good and that's just when my curiosity for fashion came along and i understood that i'm really confident with fashion so i just went for that but i always love dancing you know if it's just putting music in the background dancing i feel like dancing will always have a part in my, in my heart because that's as well i started and i feel like people that know me like since i was a young girl will know that joe swing dancer everyone that like, i'm pretty sure that everyone knew that would be my future path but um yeah and obviously anything that has to do with fashion you know creating content taking pictures oh i love taking pictures i don't know what's that i just love getting dressed looking good and taking pictures i that's a bit of me that is a bit of me i don't know if it's a bit long oh i can see the time 15 minutes jesus christ girl you're talking a lot yeah. your favorite place ever to travel um i don't travel to that many places i think so in prague Austria, Mykonos, and obviously the UK right now. Um, I think so. I'm not sure, but definitely Mykonos. Oh my God, Mykonos vibe is a different level. And I really recommend traveling with your girlies because that's a whole different thing. If you want to travel with your partner, I will say Santorini. But Mykonos, the vibe, the place, the people, everything. Oh my God, that would definitely be a destination that I would travel with. <laughs> I am basically right now editing the video. Um, don't don't even look at the background, but um, I realized I said the, my favorite place to travel to that I've ever traveled to was Mykonos. And I completely forgot that I traveled to Ghana. And that's embarrassing, cause like, how dare did I forget that? Sorry, mom, I'm really sorry, but my favorite place has to be Ghana especially when we we kind of traveled like a group of friends I think we were like 10 friends we were all Ghanaian um it was I think 2019 we traveled for a whole month we were there for Christmas and New Year's and it was kind of like returning back to home how I think the year was like a year of return I don't even remember oh my god that's so embarrassing but yeah we traveled for a whole month and it was literally the best trip ever oh my god i i would have done it again if i could we went to afro nation i think afro, yeah we went to afro nation to Kim promise um show and if i figure how to put it over here i'll put everything over here but um it was actually the best trip ever don't get me wrong mikonos was a good one as well vibes weather everything is great but ghana nothing compares with ghana i think we see it right now and yeah basically ghana was my favorite trip i don't know why i said mikonos that was embarrassing but i'm gonna stop talking right now and let's get back to the video <laughs> favorite color oh my favorite color has to be when it comes to clothes black i have to stop i know i have to stop wearing black but i feel like black is just the most comfiest and most easy color to style with to dress with and just wear all the time it can be classic it can be streetwear black is always a safe color gold 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 i'm obsessed with gold when i was younger my favorite color was yellow and as i grew up i just 
started loving gold i don't know if it's a color but i'm obsessed with gold like anything around this yellow goldish champagne color oh that's a bit of me i literally want my future car to be gold a few moments later okay maybe i'm a bit over reacting like gold details you know and my house to have like to be all cream with gold details on it oh if my future husband doesn't like gold next question what do you think about the fashion in israel compared to the fashion in london um i will tell you what fashion in israel is kind of like you do have unique people but they're not that many they're like really hard to find so i can say like fashion over there is boring it's really boring like i can literally wear this out and i'll get many compliments like oh my god you you're wearing such a cute outfit and i'm like that this is not that all, all that that's just like a regular outfit so i feel like fashion over there is really boring but the people that do know how to dress are so underrated that they're not out there because i feel like fashion is not a really big thing over there depends where you, where you walk obviously if you're in tel aviv you will see fashion dripping everywhere and in london i feel like everything here is too trendy I can see the same outfit in a day 10,000 times and I'll be like, do you guys literally have something else to wear? Like, the things you see on Instagram is the things you see in real life. Obviously, you do see people like, they're blown, like, their fashion is like, but everything is very trendy, but I think compared to, obviously, Israel, I have to give it to the UK because the ones that knows how to dress, they really know how to dress. You will be like, how, do you, how did you even think about putting all these outfits together? I feel like everywhere you will find people that knows how to dress, but the thing is like, how many are they? Okay, I have a really good question right here. I'll answer this, answer another one, and I'm done. I promise you I'm done. What is your ideal man? Oh, that's a, such a good question. Um, I wouldn't say I have a type. I know everyone's like, oh, I don't have a type, but I really do not have a type. Once we vibe, we vibe. Once someone just makes you happy and treats you as you've always dreamed of, you just fall in love with that person. Really go for character, vibes. You have to be my best friend. Like, if I don't feel comfortable around you, if I cannot fart near you, if I cannot poop near you, if I cannot be me, be Josephine near you, it's not gonna work. Last question, how are you feeling? Ugh. That's a good question. I feel fulfilled. I feel good, you know, to finally be, do something that I love. All these years, I just work the dumb things that I didn't like and didn't enjoy. Oh, I worked so hard to move abroad. And I'm just happy to be here, you know, to be where I am right now, to be in a place where I can see a future in, a place where I know that I have way more opportunities. You know, when you just work hard for something and it finally happens, you're like, wow, I can't believe I, I've done that. But obviously, it is hard to be like apart from my family, my dad, my mom, and my friends that I'm not even gonna call them <coughs> friends, like my sisters, and you guys know who you are. That's the hardest part. Like, I can literally smile the whole day, get back home, and cry and be like, why did I do that? Like, how did I move? How did I leave my people? Or that like, just seeing them living their life growing up. And I'm like, I'm not a part of that. I'm not there. You know, seeing them celebrating their birthdays together and I'm not there. That is the hardest thing ever. But I always need to remember that I've done this big decision and this big move for a reason so guys this has been such a long video i will try to make it as short as i can i hope you guys loved this video tell me if you guys want to see a part two because i personally had so much fun doing this q a thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i, I can't believe i'm saying it i look you cannot believe i'm saying this but yeah don't forget to do those things and hopefully and i'm sure i'll see you in my next video love you guys baby i'll talk you crazy